my July favorites. So I know this is like one of my first videos, but it, um, I started doing them right now, right at the end of June. So I decided to go ahead and do a July favorites and show you some of the products that I have been loving this month and what I think of them. Um, some of them might be kind of like older to the YouTube world and everything else like that, but I still really, really love them and everything else. I don't have that many because we've still been in the process of moving and my boyfriend has been away for like the past three weeks for military training and everything else like that. So I really haven't been wearing like that much makeup this month, except when I would have to go out and get stuff ready for college and everything else like that. But if you want to go ahead and see what my favorites were, then go ahead and keep watching. So I guess I'll just go ahead and jump right into it and do my makeup favorites first. So my first favorite is a blush and it is by NYX. And I'm sure that you guys have heard a lot about the NYX blushes. And they're just really, really nice. They're very pigmented and everything like this. And this is one of the powder blushes. I do also have a cream blush. And this one is in pinched. It gives it a very nice natural glow. And a very nice natural um, rosiness to your cheeks, which I really, really love. The other thing that I've really been loving, which is, uh, you know, very old. I did get this when it first came out and everything, but I still love it. And I always repurchase and everything. But it is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. And this is in the waterproof version. I My next favorite are both... Um, you know what I'll do this one next one is also kind of um, an eyeshadow and once again you know I am just starting and everything but I'm sure you guys have heard about this like over and over but it is the color tattoo 24 hour um, eyeshadow and this one is in the color bad to the bronze I'm actually wearing it today um, I really really love this color it gives a great color payoff um, I'm sure you guys have seen it before in the store but um, me personally, I mean, it's very nice, easy to wear. Gives nice color payoff. There is like some a little bit shimmer to it and everything else like that. But sometimes I do wear it on its own. I'm actually wearing it on its own today with a highlight color, which is really nice. But um, yeah, I really, really love this. Um, the next um, items are going to be like lip products or lip things. I've really been loving um, lip scrubs because my lips have been getting really chopped especially with the hot weather and everything like that so I have the lip scrub from Lush and this one is in the sweet lips and it is a nice like chocolatey chocolatey smell and I just I love it um, when I went in to go get it I had heard about the popcorn one and the bubblegum one but I went to go smell those I like the idea of it but I did not like the smells of them and then I opened this one and it was just like we were meant to be together like it was like sweet lips you belong to me i love chocolate i love smelling chocolate and it was just like destiny so yeah the other ones which i'm sure you've heard about them before is the eos lip balms or as some of my friends like to call them mexican jumping beans i i don't know where they got that from but whatever this one is the blueberry one and it was part of the limited edition Alice in Wonderland collection. I got it at Target. I don't think you can get it anymore. But my favorite part is because you have like the little like hidden Mickey where you normally have a thing and I just, I love that. But this one is one of my favorites. It, it smells so good and it tastes so good and everything else like that. I don't know where it is, but I have a vanilla one that I really like using too. I usually keep that one in my purse. And then the other one is the, I believe this one is like the Summer Fruits one. And once again, it smells so good and it just, it tastes so good. And then the last thing, once again, I'm sure you've heard tons of things about it, but it is the Revlon Lip Butters. I'm actually wearing this one today and this one is in the color Cotton Candy and it <clears throat> it is a nice um, pink color and uh, I just like them they're very nice and nourishing and everything else like that um, I don't feel like I need to wear a gloss over them or anything like that they're not like overly um, sticky I don't have any transfer when I wear them or anything like that um, so yeah I really really like these so 
And then for non-beauty favorites, I have been loving, like I said, I do live in Florida and when I go outside, I always need to have sunglasses to protect my eyes. I got, I don't know why they're so tight, but I got these ones at Target and I really, really love them. The front has polka dots on it. This side here has stripes and then this side has leopard print, which I really, really love. And it's just like, it's not like overly big for my face in my opinion. I don't know, you guys might disagree with me, but I really, really like them and I think that they're awesome. I love wearing them and I think it just, I think that they're fun and cute and you know, really summery, which I really, really love. For other favorites, um, I have been having a favorite song lately. I downloaded the um, new Selena Gomez CD and I really really love the song come and get it which is awesome but the other one I really really like is the other song like a champion and I'll go ahead and play a little bit of it right now But the other song I've really, really been loving is from the movie Moulin Rouge. I know that that is like an old movie and the soundtrack is really old too, but I recently watched it again and I just re-fell in love with this song. I never really felt out of love with it, but I haven't really had it in my iTunes or on my iPhone for a while and everything like that, but it is the song Come What May. And in case you guys haven't um, watched that movie or heard um, the song before, I'll go ahead and play it for you. I'm actually going to play you the dance mix version of it, which is more like a bit up-tempo and everything else, but it's still a really great song. And if you haven't watched the movie, you really need to go watch the movie. It is a very good movie. But yeah, here that one is. down bar below so you can actually go and listen to the full entirety of the song and you know without the fast forwarding you know because you know the whole dealio right so yeah my other favorite for on my phone it's kind of minion related also and it is the app minion rush um it is kind of like subway surfer if you guys have played that before and it's just like that but you um you go along and collect bananas and have to jump over things and go through different scenes of like the movie like El Macho's um, lair and go through Gru's lab and you run through the neighborhood and everything else like that. That's just like really really loud all of a sudden. Yeah. But you pretty much like go through and you run. I'm probably gonna die like right at the beginning. But you just like run through and like collect the bananas and jump over things and you can run into minions and do despicable actions and everything else like that. But it's like, it's a really, really fun game. I love having it. And like I said, it's minions. So I had to get it and it's really cute. And if you have Facebook friends, you can go and connect to them and go and compete against them, send them challenges and everything like that, which is really awesome. And then for TV show favorites, I don't really watch that much summer TV. I am in the process of re-watching um, Doctor Who right now, and I will put this disclaimer out there right now. I am a little bit, a little bit of a geek when it comes to anything like comic book related or science fiction related or anything like that. But I have been re-watching Doctor Who from the beginning of the ninth Doctor and when they started to remake it up until, well, I just started rewatching it, but I am rewatching it again and falling in love with the characters more with the old companions and the old doctors and everything else like that. But I, I just, I can't wait 
till the 50th anniversary in November and I'm just looking forward to it so so much that I have to rewatch it and make sure that I find any of the things that I missed and the other one I'm starting to rewatch is Sherlock both of which are on BBC but you can find both of them on Netflix um, so if you haven't watched either of them definitely go check them out uh, Doctor Who is an hour long episode which is really nice but it's like science fiction related and stuff like that but definitely go check it out and give it a shot and see if you like it if not then oh well you know I'm not I'm not gonna hate you know everybody has their own opinion Sherlock is um there are short seasons there are three episodes for a season but each episode is two hours long and it's kind of like a mini movie but it's like a modern take on Sherlock Holmes. It's set in like present day. But <clears throat> there is two seasons out right now. And then the third season comes out in November as well as the 50th anniversary special for Doctor Who. So I'm really looking forward to those. I am um, <clears throat> and watching those and getting caught up with that. So, or just more re-watching it to go and find anything that I missed pretty much. Because I just love those shows so much. But that was it for my July favorites. I hope you guys... <coughs> but that was it for my July favorites. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys have a July favorites, go ahead and leave it as a video response down below. I'd love to watch it and see what your favorites were. See if there's anything I don't have that maybe I should go check out or anything like that. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye!